Okay, you want to find a room that is not near your chest room. Dig a hole in the ground and put your chest there. You can make it a double chest if you want. Then you want to put a block above it, preferably one that blends in with the wall. And down here we are going to put our piston, a sticky piston. And now all I'm going to do is put the redstone in. Now I want to go up to the room up here. Now I'll tell you what this is for soon, but I want to find my way down and right, there we go. Let's just make a little bit of room there. We'll cover all this back in at the end, but just to make it easier to build, right? So we're just gonna have a very simple redstone system going up here. Okay, now we have a small problem. The piston isn't activated and we need it to be. Basically, we need to invert and to do that, all we're going to do is add an inverter. A very simple redstone mechanic. All you need to do is put a block there and a redstone torch there. As you can visually see here, it's inverting. When this redstone is off, that is on and vice versa. And that is pretty much it for the redstone at the moment. All I'm going to do now is cover that back up, make it look a bit more hidden. And I am going to add some lava. Now, one thing that people do commonly have in a base is an incinerator. I'm going to abuse that by concealing the chest as an incinerator. Okay, I'm sure you could do a much better job of making it look nicer than that. But you get the general idea. Okay, and now we're going to work on the top. All I've done here is put the redstone up a couple of layers by building it into the wall. In fact, I'm going to bring it up another layer. Or I'm going to push it back a little bit. Just so that we can have the redstone going into that block there. Or actually, no, we'll have it going. Have it going one higher than that. And you'll see why in a second. Okay, and now for the final bit of the tutorial, we are going to quickly make a kitchen area. Now, I'm just going to rush through this, making it very quickly, but it's just a front for the hidden device. Add a couple of these. Um, a couple of extra hidden chests should do the trick. And voila, we are done. Now the tool you are going to need to open the chest is a fishing rod. I'll just get one of those for myself. Right. All you need to do is attach the hook to the wooden pressure plate and you can walk on down. It doesn't really look like anything's happened, but if you look down there, you can easily get in. It doesn't even reset your fishing rod. As you can see, I'm trying to use it now, nothing. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I enjoyed making it. If you did enjoy it, please go on my channel, watch some more. And if you do want to subscribe to my channel, please go ahead. I will be starting a new game soon where some of my subscribers can play against me in Minecraft. Things like the Hunger Games and the Walls, Skyblock. I don't know.
but I really do want to get more interactive with my subscribers and I do want to play Minecraft with you so if you want to play with me subscribe even if you don't thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it again and goodbye